Hi, it's Yoti Carlson here. I love me a good horror movie, and Friday the 13th is one of the longest-running slasher series of all time. I'm going to be taking a look today at this beautiful box set from Scream Factory, which I got as part of their sale. I did an unboxing of some of the stuff I got on the sale a few days ago. This is the Friday the 13th Collection Deluxe Edition. We'll unbox this, and I will share my paint. Beautiful artwork on this box. I absolutely love the way this looks. Top, we got Jason's hockey mask. Bottom's got all our credit and rating information. And here are the spines of the individual films in this set. We've got 12 films across 16 discs, plus some additional bonus features and a booklet. So let's unbox this and see what we got inside. Like I said to begin, we do have a small booklet here that has some nice essays and photos in it. I'm not going to go through every page of this, but I'll at least show off some of what's here. And we'll start at the beginning. Start off, we have Friday the 13th from 1980. And this does contain both the uncut version and the R-rated theatrical version. We then have Friday the 13th Part 2, the movie that firmly establishes Jason Voorhees as our killer. And these, some of these have reversible artwork, and the ones that don't also have extra art in the back through the clear case, so that's nice. I don't think I showed the inner parts of the first movie case, so we'll do that real quick. And here you have separate discs for both the uncut and theatrical versions, so... There's the uh, uncut disc. Here's the theatrical disc. And underneath, you got some reversible artwork. Moving down the list, we have Friday the 13th, Part 3, 3D. And this film is noteworthy because this is the first film where Jason gets his signature hockey mask. There's the disc of the movie. And underneath, we do have more reversible artwork if you're into that sort of thing. We then have Friday the 13th, the final chapter. The fourth film, which of course, did not end up being the final chapter. There's our disc. Underneath, once again, reversible artwork. And the final chapter, of course, wasn't the final chapter because not long after we got Friday the 13th, part five, a new beginning. Here's our disc. More reversible art underneath. Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives. Here's our disc. And this one doesn't have reversible art, but it does have some nice background art of Jason there doing what he does best. We then come to Friday the 13th, part seven, The New Blood. Again, no reversible art on this, but we get some nice backing art there of Jason. There's our disc. Next up, we have Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Again, this one doesn't have reversible art, but nice background art of Jason. Funnily enough, standing in front of a hockey arena in New York. We then get into the 90s with... Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. And interestingly, starting with this one, we do have some reversible art again. We get two discs for Jason Goes to Hell. We get the theatrical version. And we get the uncut version. Right the discs there, we have our reversible art. Honestly, not terribly different from what we get on the outside of the discs. We then take a trip into the future with Jason X, released in the early 2000s, putting something of a sci-fi angle on the series, which of course met with a mixed reception. This one also has reversible artwork. We then come to Freddy vs. Jason, which of course was a crossover with 
Freddy Krueger from the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. And the first bit of bad news about this set is that Freddy vs. Jason and the film that came after, these are unfortunately identical to the earlier released Blu-rays of these movies. They are not new Blu-rays authored by Shout Factory, sadly enough. And then underneath here, again, we do have some reversible art. And the final movie in the collection is the remake reboot, which is simply entitled Friday the 13th. Unlike with Freddy vs. Jason, unfortunately, this is just identical to the previously released Blu-ray disc of the film. And this is one that's really desperately due for a new scan, so that's kind of disappointing. Here's a close-up of the disc. Again, if you've owned this movie before on Blu-ray, there's only one Blu-ray of this movie. And then the final two discs in the set are from a nice big collection of supplemental features. Not one, but two discs solely dedicated to extras, which is pretty nice for fans. Underneath, we've got some nice artwork of one of Jason's victims. I don't think there's really a whole lot I can say about the Friday the 13th franchise that hasn't already been said. The movies, of course, revolve around hockey mask, machete-wielding serial killer Jason Voorhees, who was thought to have drowned at Camp Crystal Lake, but it's later revealed that he has, in fact, survived and is exacting his revenge on those that neglected to save him. In the first film, of course, his mother is the killer and seeking revenge for her son, but when she's killed, Jason comes back with a vengeance, a vengeance that has lasted for 40-plus years. There hasn't been a new film in the Friday the 13th series since the 2009 remake reboot, but I have a feeling this isn't the last we've heard of this series, and there will certainly be more on the horizon. Now, I'm not going to get too into the individual movies here because you've probably seen them more times than I can count. I may, in the future, go through this box set and do reviews for each individual film, but if I do, that's certainly a story for another day. This is more a review unboxing of the set as a whole. And I do have to say, all of the movies that are in this set actually look very nice. The first four movies, according to the packaging, actually got new scans for this set, and every movie in here actually has surprisingly good picture quality. Now, there are a few special effects scenes that obviously haven't aged the best, but there's only so much you can do with those. Overall, though, I don't think any fan of the Friday the 13th series is going to be disappointed with what they see in terms of picture quality. Again, I really do wish the latter two films in this had gotten new discs and new scans instead of being repackagings of the old ones, but I am glad they're at least included. Each film has several bonus features on its respective disc, but then there's also those two whole discs of bonus features as well, so... If you are a fan of the franchise, there's going to be plenty for you to watch. You'll keep yourself busy learning more and more about the creation of these films and everything that went into them. It's a great supplement package. Picture quality is great. The movies themselves, of course, are hit and miss, but I'm sure every fan of the series has a soft spot for at least some moments of all of them. So if you are a fan of the Friday the 13th series or you're a fan of just horror movies in general, I strongly recommend this package. Are you a fan of Friday the 13th? Did you pick up this collection during the Scream Factory sale? Comment down below and let us know what you think. Also, I want to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure to give someone a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.